Yo, what up? This Shazam. And yo, what up? It's your boy G.I. And we're the legendary group H-Town. And yo, we're right here on Hip Hop Weekly at H-Town for Life. Hip Hop Weekly, South by Southwest 2015. And I'm here with none other than H-Town knocking the... See, I try to do my H-Town knocking the booth singing. You like that? You like, I can't do it like y'all do. I see y'all doing y'all thing on the stage. Uh, you still got it. Y'all still got it. Yeah, we try to keep it keep it going. You know, try to get younger every day. Not getting older, we getting younger. And your voice, y'all still heard you. Who yeah? Oh, yeah, I still do what I do. You know what I'm saying? It's just stress-free, living stress-free. 20, 22 years in the game now, so we still here. Now, South by Southwest, it's known for having artists come down here, really connecting with the fans, actually exposing them to new fans. How important is it for you to come down to South by Southwest and really connect with your fans who have been rocking with y'all for 22 plus years? Oh, it's very important, man, because it just shows the fans that, you know, we human, and uh, we just kind of want to be real approachable. h child some approachable guys. Just to let the fans know we love them and get a chance, you know, to tell them that we love them face to face, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's very important to uh, interact with our fans. Now tell me, what new music did you bring to South by Southwest for the fans to hear? We brought a brand new single called Green Light. You know what I'm saying? It's about strictly for the ladies, of course. You know, we're taking it back to that grown and sexy. So y'all get, get rid of that grown and sexy again, H-Town. We ain't with nowhere. We ain't changing. We're not changing with the time, the current. You know, we, we're in our own lane, so we're going to stay in that lane. Sexy freaking me and you. I'm the only man you ever need. Now, y'all are fresh from Houston, Texas. You got a lot of fans here from Houston that are supporting you guys. You know, how have they supported y'all over the years ever since we lost Dino out of the group? Oh, man, just, you know, by emailing us and, uh, you know, um, Instagramming us, Facebooking us, telling us to keep our head up. You know, also they come and support all our concerts. All our concerts sell out, so, you know, and they still sing a lot of words, so, you know, they show us a lot of love. Because I said we, because I feel like I, I grew up with the music. So, you know, if we feel like we are part of H-Town, especially when you're coming from Houston, Texas, you, you show these guys so much love. They love y'all in Houston. Yeah, that's why we named ourselves H-Town, to put our city on the map. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people wasn't calling. Didn't know that, that's where the name H-Town come from. So, you know, we did that to basically put Houston, Texas on the map. Now, you got the new music. You connected with the fans. I saw you performing. You haven't lost a beat. How do you think the music industry has changed so much? Because now you have social media, you have YouTube, you have Instagram. How has that changed the way you guys put your music out and connect with your fans? I think it makes it it, it, gets, it makes it get to the fans quicker. We don't, we don't have to do that much groundwork like we used to back in the day. Back in the day, we had to hit the streets for like four months and go city to city. Right now, we can just throw it up on the internet and it hits everywhere from here to London to Japan, you know what I'm saying, and Australia. So it's like a grease lightning. So they get all the new music right there at one time, instantly. Yeah, that's different. Now, Hip Hop Weekly, we're here at South by Southwest. We've known for covering a lot of artists' transition. How do you think it's important for Hip Hop Weekly, a magazine like Hip Hop Weekly, to really keep artists like H-Town in the forefront in front of their fans? Uh, man, just do more features on R&B artists, you know what I'm saying? You know, add, you know, a stereo article on H-Town, a lot of R&B groups, Jodeci, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can just even do a section with uh, some R&B, the new and the old, you know what I'm saying? I can't it can keep us connected, Hip Hop Weekly connected to the R&B world, you know what I'm saying? Now, R&B music has changed so much. What do you think of the state of R&B right now in 2015? Uh, I think, man, it's um, it's a little watered down, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the guys, you know, they don't really talk. Like back in the 90s, you know, we was talking about something. We had, our, our subject was about meaningful and stuff. Like today is more like, you know, what you got or bling bling it or. So I just think, you know, but I'm not going to knock their hustle, you know what I'm saying? They're not killing nobody. they still making a living, but it's just a little watered down. I just think we need to get back to the 90s or back to the when Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, some of those guys, to listen to some of those guys like that. But uh, it's a little watered down, that's all I can say. I, I mean, to be honest, I think it's like an, uh, you have to adapt to your city, your, your surroundings. So it's like if radio tell me, telling you that in order for me to get my radio, my song on the radio, I have to sound like this dude right here. So I'm going to do a record like he's doing, just to try to get radio. You know what I'm saying? It's not guaranteed I would get radio, but I'm adapting to the error in the situation because that's all I hear on the radio, you know. But at the same time, you know, it's like, I don't think it's a lot of originality like it was back in our day. You know, everybody, you can tell who Silk was, who Jodeci was, who H-Town was, who was S SWV or Next. You know what I'm saying? These days, everybody sounds just like 
Chris Brown got three other groups sounding just like him. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the only thing I think is bad about it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's too many carbon copies and not enough originals. The one thing about classic music, especially with groups like H-Town, is that it never goes out of style. What can your fans expect from your new music that's going to keep them saying, this is a classic, it's never going to go out of style? The same thing, man. We, you, we using the same formula with just a little bit of 2015 twist on it, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you hit a new single, Green Light, which is out, be coming out real soon, it still has that H-Town sound. But we and we sprinkle a little bit of the new stuff in it, just a little bit, just a, to tighten it just a little bit now. So, you know, but um, it's basically the same style because we kind of want to bring our style back. That's what we try to do, bring our style back and make these young folks start doing our style, you know what I'm saying? That's what we try to do, you know what I'm saying? Innovate. That's right, real singing, you know, the nice harmonies and everything. We're putting all that back in our records, you know? Sexy freaking me and you. I'm the only one who retired to the break of dawn. But all.